Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you're having a glorious day. Today's video is actually a follow-up on yesterday's video where we unboxed, or should I say, unpunch tabbed this set right here. This is Lego Fantastic Beast set 75952, Newt's Case of Magical Creatures. This is a 694 piece set. And I should say right away before we do anything in this video, I have not seen this movie. So I know nothing about this. And my perspective in this video when I show you this set is based solely upon my love of Lego. As a Lego enthusiast, I think this is a good set. And the thing that drew me into this, and I think I mentioned this a couple times, it was this case. It wasn't the magical creatures as you might expect. Like these things are cool. And I'll showing these to you. But it was this suitcase that comes with this. And you can see here how it works. Starts as a just a regular suitcase. It pops open. It opens up and there's a play set there. And I'm going to show my age here. But this reminds me very much of something that I enjoyed as a kid, which was called Mighty Max. There may be some older people out there that know what I'm talking about. Girls, you may remember, and I think it still exists today, Polly Pocket. It's like a much smaller size scale of this, but it's like this little playset that pops open. And inside there, you almost have like a bottom and you have a back where you can play with these little figures and figurines, I guess, in there. Fingerines in there. And that's why I was really drawn to this set. This set, I believe, sells for... $50, but I got this for, I think, 40 and there was probably some other stuff going on as well. So it was your typical 20% off, and it sat in the backlog for a while, but the Harry Potter detectors have forced me into this, and I did have someone say that Fantastic Beast is not Harry Potter, which I completely understand, but it's very related, and I felt like I could lump it all together, because I feel like that group likes both of these things, at least I think so. So on that, let's get into my review, if you want to call it that, of Lego Fantastic Beasts, Newt's Case of Magical Creatures. Okay, here's the built set, and I guess I should have another thing that I said to you. I already told you guys that I had never seen the movie. I should also probably tell you that I'm not much of a Lego reviewer. I know there's people out there that are amazing at that. That's just not me. So this is gonna be just kind of my feelings on the set. I can't give you a whole lot of information on this. Like, I can't say what the heck this Rhino is, but I can tell you that I think it's pretty cool and I like the build. It's not as good as, well, he kind of rocks a little bit there. He's not as good as the Black Panther Rhino from that set. Let me see if I have that. This is all over the place, but right there. I think that rhino is a little bit cooler, although it's not quite as brick built. Let me know what you guys think. I'm gonna do a poll. This rhino from Black Panther or this rhino from Fantastic Beasts. Let me know what you guys think. If this is even a rhino, I do think it's kind of cool looking though. It does have legs that move a little bit. And why don't I tripod you guys up? I'm gonna start off just to let you know. I'm gonna start off by showing you all these magical creatures, if that's what they are. And then we'll go into the minifigs and then we'll show you my favorite part of this. Keep you around to see the favorite part. Now that we have both hands free, let's take a look at this bad boy. Does his head move? His head moves ever so slightly. Very much like a rhino's would. That horn is just off the charts though. We also have that orange lava or whatever that's through there. I know the Fantastic Beast crowd is triggered right now. I've gotta trigger everyone equally. You're not excluded from this channel, but there's his legs moving, or her legs, I don't know. You can set it up like that. Now it kind of looks like Eeyore from Winnie the Pooh. Somebody, anybody? We'll just leave it on that. Next, we'll move on to this, oh geez. We'll move on to this golden eagle thingamajobber. And this thing's pretty cool. I enjoyed the build on this. I thought they did a good job with it. Uh, it does have a mouth that opens. Let me see if I can actually do that. Um. There we go. That's what the face looks like. Luckily, those aren't stickers. There were plenty of stickers in this set, so we'll get to that. Those are stickers right there, as I was mentioning. There's lots of wings on this. We've got wings on wings on wings. This is kind of cool the way they did it out here. We've got kind of like the whip pieces, and this is kind of built on an upside down way, if that makes sense. And yeah, you can move the legs out around on this. This thing's never going to stand up again now that I'm doing this, but I've got to demonstrate it for you. Oh, maybe it does. Wow. That's actually kind of cool. And you can flap the wings. This kind of reminds me, this is going to trigger another audience. Oh, I just got to get everybody. Reminds me of elves. Okay. Reminds me of elves, but that's a cool little bird, animal, eagle thing. Why don't you sit up? I know I have you sitting all weird, but come on, bro. This last one. This one's kind of wild. This is probably my least favorite of the bunch. And I think my camera knows it because it doesn't want to focus on it. There we go. This thing is like a snake bird. That's what... <laughs> It's, it was kind of uh, repetitive with the build. I had to build like five of these things that are going around its back and then it kind of comes up here. The annoying thing about this is trying to get it to sit up. So you kind of have to make sure you have enough of these on the ground that it'll stay. But it's really super top heavy because of course it has these pink wings, which I can assure you that I don't have anything like that in my collection. So that's kind of cool to get. But let me show you the, the struggle is real in trying to get this thing to stand up. Yeah. 
Stand up in the next five seconds and you get a million dollars, Greg. Do it, do. Oh, sugar shack. I was just gonna say that I'm not quitting, but I think there comes a time when you do need to quit. I will say, I kind of down talked myself in the beginning of this saying, oh, I'm not a good reviewer and I can't really provide you information. But what I can provide you is something way more powerful than information. I can provide you entertainment. Who else in their review of this called this guy Eeyore? Who else called this a golden eagle? They probably called it by the real names, which I applaud them for that, but not a Brickitect. Not here. Not ever. If you thought the video was going downhill, you're right, because this is where it's happening. We've got our mini fingers here. And if you're new to the channel, there you go, mini fingers. These guys are named, I'm gonna pull this right from my, my book of knowledge. On your left, you have Newt Scamander. I remember when I got him as a blind bag minifig and I didn't know who he was and people were just all beside themselves. I also have beside him, to the right of him, Tina Goldstein or Steen. And then we also have Jacob Kowalski. And last but not least, how could we forget about Queenie Goldstein or Goldstein? Totally new all-in information. I do want to talk to you about Jacob. He's kind of cool because you can take this helmet thing off. I'm not sure why he has a helmet. Maybe it's for safety reasons. Maybe he's a professional motorcycle driver in the movie. I don't know. But we're going to put his hair on. At least we're going to try. And there you go. He kind of looks like maybe Tony Stark's dad a little bit. A younger Tony Stark's dad. And he also has an umbrella. How could you go wrong with that? But as I'm looking at it here, they all have accessories. Newt has this... Uh, top of a carrot, and he also has a wand, and then what's her facer? She has a tea kettle and a wand, and then uh, Mrs. Goldstein or Goldstein also has a wand too, so pretty cool. You get four minifigs out of this, three monsters, and now we move on to my favorite part. After we've completely demolished all integrity that we had here in terms of knowing anything about Fantastic Beasts, we move on to Newt's case. This is the part that I tuned into the video for, Check out the suitcase. How adorbs is that? I love it. The bottom looks a little rough. You're not really supposed to display it that way. And you can hear there's a chicken wing inside there moving around or something like that. Let's come back in here so I can show you how this works. You pop the lid open, okay? So that comes up and you can kind of just move that back. These come open. There's a ladder in here. I think you maybe have them climb down through as well, but we'll talk about that later. Also, this front part comes out like that and opens up. And now you find yourself with a Mighty Max or Polly Pocket Lego set. Not really. And again, I don't think anyone knows what I'm talking about. There's that chicken wing that was, I, where did I get this from? It was in something like this. I think it was like over here. Maybe, it, nope. We'll just say it was right there. So there's like a bunch of accessories in here. There's a brush, there's a meat cleaver. There's a sink over here. This looks like maybe a bedroom. Looks like he has some potions and such there as well. Correct me if I'm wrong. There's gonna be a lot of corrections. There's an egg over here getting ready to hatch. Which one of these animals lays eggs? Maybe all of them do. I would think this is a mammal. I would think maybe this thing lays eggs. And I would definitely say that this one lays eggs. Making all this up. I like to come up with my own little storylines. But here's what the inside of this looks like. Very detailed. I think they did a great job with showing this. I don't know how realistic this is to the movie, if this is even in the movie. But I did think that this thing was a little bit bigger in my mind when I first saw this set. Like I look at the front of the box here and you can tell based on the size of the minifigs outside of it that, you know, it's not super huge, but I was thinking for the size of that box and being that it was $50, I thought the case would be bigger. I think a lot of the expense of this set is wrapped up over here in these beautiful creatures. And you know, you got four minifigs, I guess. So I don't know, $50, would you do it? I'm sure some of you did, $40. I think it's a little more bearable. That's where I pulled the trigger at. Again, i probably the least qualified person in the history of the world to ever review this set. But as a Lego set, just like I said in the beginning of this video, let's take it back to my love as a Lego enthusiast of this set. I think it's good. I like these. I think Clark Mann's gonna love this. It was kind of my reason getting this. I thought he would have fun with these animals. I like the case. I know he'll like these. I probably should have let him build these just so he could come up with funny combinations and you guys could just get all beside yourselves. But. Clarkman was napping. So that's the reason that he hasn't been in this video yet. And it's also been the reason that you've been able to hear me and also see the things that I'm showing you. We had a bunch of leftover pieces there to add to the collection, a bunch of wands and such. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna edit this video up for you guys. Clarkman has been down for a nap for a while. If he comes down while I'm editing this, I'll show him playing with it. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to save it for a future video. So just in case he doesn't come down, I wanna thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for bearing with me. Thank you for allowing me just to enjoy myself as 
a Fantastic Beasts noob and review a set from a from a collection that I know nothing about, but just tell you what I think of it. And, you know, I don't know. I don't know where this is going. <laughs> I really hope he comes down now because this is a terrible way to end this video, but it might be the end of the video. You are not going to believe this. Literally ended the video 20 seconds ago and I hear Clark upstairs. Clark, man, you saved my video, dude. What? what? I got to show you something. You need to save me here. What is this it? right here. Wow, what is it? He built this? Yes. You know what that is? The rhino. Rhinos. Rhinos, always a pair. I miss you today. Let's get Clark's official review. You know he's better at reviewing sets than I am. <laughs> <laughs> Brushing his hair with the set. I didn't even think about talking about that in my review. See how important it is to have him? Dude, you're spoiling the movie. That's how Fantastic Beasts ends. Okay. He crashed. See, I told you guys this would result in destruction. What is that thing, Clarky? A Daredactyl. A Daredactyl again. Daredactyl from this thing. Daredactyls. I'm going to show you something here. Huh. I don't think you saw this. Well, I know you didn't see this. Hold on. Wait a minute. Let me do it. Let me do it. You got to move this back. Oh. oh, I guess you could probably figure it out yourself. I think that goes down first. Hey, <laughs> careful, bro. Yep, and then when that closes like that. One handed detect is trying his best here. Yep, close it down. Wow. And, and then you close it, and then you can carry it away like a little suitcase. See? Yeah. Do you like that part? Yeah, I think I have something else to show. Else. What? It's upstairs. What is it? Your. You'll see. Clarkman is hitting you guys with the cliffhangers. He's got something else to show you. God knows what it is. But, yeah, little suitcase. Take this with you. See, this is a set that I should take with me on vacation. I always joke about taking sets on vacation and not building them. This one would be very appropriate. It'd be so funny if you showed up at your hotel and the guy was there with like the cart and you're like, yes, could you put my suitcase on there? And he's like, what? Uh-oh. What is it, Clark, ma'am? Oh. Oh! I got a new pool for me, but my upper pool had a hole. Yeah, man. I thought this video was going to end in a really weird way, and it certainly did, even with Clark. So, thank you for watching, and as always, in the next video, we'll see you in the pool. <laughs>